Welcome to WebSan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find your way around the system and what to do if you get lost along the way. Let's go! Let's start with the dashboard. As the first thing you see when you log into WebSan, the dashboard gives you a bird's eye view of current and upcoming activity in your workshop. Alongside graphs to show what's going on, you'll see the action list, a set of widgets highlighting things needing attention such as reminders due to be sent, vehicles that haven't arrived for their booking, estimates that have been approved to proceed, and orders that are due but haven't been received. Each of the action items can be clicked to drill into more detail. For example, I can click on the approved estimates link to convert the estimate to a job and schedule it in. From here we can navigate around the WebSAM system using the top bar. Here, beside a short name for your company, you'll find a drop-down menu to get into the setup screens. Under Workshop you find the diary, your work in progress list, orders, estimates, invoice history, and time clocking to clock on and off jobs. And the vehicle inquiry and stock inquiry are where you find lists of all your customers' vehicles and your stock list to add and edit parts. The Accounts drop-down gets you to the Customer and Supplier list. And, if you are using Zero Accounting, this is where you can find the history of transactions sent to Zero. The Reports link takes you directly to all the reports in WebSAN. It's also worth noting that under Marketing Reports is where you find the features to send service reminders and booking reminders to your customers. Click Dashboard to return to the Dashboard. On the right we have Quick Search. This search gets results from everywhere. I can type in a name and find the customer record, related jobs and vehicles and drill into what I need. The plus icon lets you quickly add new jobs, customers, orders and more. The bell icon shows any important notifications, things like approved estimates, recommendations submitted from the mobile app, or issues that might need your attention. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, at least for new customers, is the help button. This will take you to our knowledge base, an online library of step-by-step -step guides and information to help you get the best out of WebSAN. And if you can't find the information you need, you can create a support ticket to ask our help desk directly. To recap on the key points, the dashboard will show you how things are going and what needs your attention. Use Quick Search to find anything. And the help button will get you to our online knowledge base where you'll find more information on everything we've covered here, plus things we didn't get to, such as scheduling with the diary and the technician mobile app. That's all for now, we hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.